you know, you can make 10 of them and, or five of them or one of them, however you want. But the point is, it's $25 and you can load it up to right around 75 pounds versus a 75 pound kettlebell, which is gonna end up running you, you know, somewhere upwards to $100 just for that itself. But you're looking at a three-fourths three right here, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna kinda open it up as I go on. And you can make this thing as thick as you want. You know, I recommend no lower than the three-fourths. I've tried the, uh, I've tried the ones that are half inch, things like that, and they sit, they tend to get a little, they tend to get a little too uh, kind of sketchy and break on you. So I like the three fourths at least, um, and then you know you can even go upwards to the the, the the one inch or even higher if you want. But all this is is galvanized pipe, and so you're going to put these together. This right here is uh, is the twelve inch. These three fourths right here, the six in, or these are six inches. Um, I've tried the four inch. I think the four inch is too too small. I mean, I have small hands, and if that's small, then for me, then it's probably going to be too small for our athletes. Um, and then right here, the little circular thing. You know, I'm not a plumber. I'm not really good at it, and I uh, just learned that it's a uh, can't even pronounce the last word of it very well. So, uh, but you get what it is right here, and floor flange. And uh, you just kind of screw it on. And then what you're looking at, you're going to screw this piece on right here at the bottom, just like this. Okay, you're going to put your weight on it. All right, so if I had 10 pound plates or 25 pound plates, all right, they just slide right on. Slide right on, just like this. You want it wide enough on the base to where you've got some base to it. Take your little T bracket here at the top. Screw it on, take your uh, six inch on the outside, screw either side on. And these things are really expensive these days. They're called Bulgarian core blasters. I saw that on, somebody's making a lot of money off of it, but not me. But anyway, so you put that on there and you got yourself a kettlebell. I mean, this is pretty much what you want out of a kettlebell. It's gonna, it's gonna you know, work core, work low back, everything you're trying to get out of it. And you can get a little clip a little, a little clip, kind of, kind of the clip that you would run on a car battery if you needed to. When you got weights on here and you got 25 pound plates, it's not going to run up on you very much. So you clip that on there if you need to. If you don't, I found out over time it's not that big of a deal. And there you go, you got yourself a kettlebell. And again, this is with tax. It was 25 dollars, and I'm sure there's cheaper stuff out there. But again, you want to make sure that this is a real good galvanized pipe. It's nice and strong. Okay, it's not going to break on you, obviously, if you go too heavy on the weight. You know, I, I've played around with it. I've gotten it up to 100 pounds before, and I was, was pretty safe on it. But again, wide base, you know, and this is where you get kind of funny on your grip handle. You know, if you're not an overly, kind of you can't get your legs that wide, a lot of times guys will go with the four inch. And again, working the kettlebell angles the same way. And with the weight, it'll stay there and you're actually using it. You know, and then you can do your squats with it. You can elevate yourself up on blocks, wide stance. Now you've got something that you can do squats with. Um, you can hold it up however you want. And all I did was go to Lowe's. And again, this is $25 um, and pretty pretty easy. And you know, the biggest thing is what I found out over time, if you stare at something long enough, more than likely you can build it, okay? And uh, as long as it's safe and you try it out on yourself, okay, I would never do anything to our athletes without doing it on myself. All right, if it's gonna fall on anybody's face, it's gonna be mine, not theirs, okay? So, you know, look at it. Go over it and uh, you know and all a lot of this stuff's online too if you can find it out some you know people put stuff online and and again it's just it's just a way to kind of think outside the box like coaches were talking about earlier so um, anybody got any questions on that anything okay hey coach right. thank you